for your worship song. Okay, hello everybody. So I hope you're doing well. Uh, this one is on how to save your registration banks, uh, registration memory. This is when uh, you want to set your keyboard in such a way that when it turns on, there are particular settings, you will just press one of these buttons and then they come up. Uh, this is uh, particularly helpful uh, when there's like a power outage or uh, you just want to be like, a, you don't have to work a lot looking for settings. Eh? And uh, there are a lot of voices, uh, over 900 voices in this keyboard. So like looking for a voice could take a while. And uh, once you've found a voice or a setting that is uh, you like, it's good that you save it and you can save it uh, uh, on, uh, on the USB drive. And you can go to any other keyboard that is uh, matching this one, like uh, any S770, uh, S775, S9990, uh, 950, 955 there. Or even the new uh, SX, I think it's X, SX something, 900. I think uh, you can use that and then you plug in your flash and you recall the settings and they come about. So assuming uh, that this is uh, <clears throat> your settings, you have, uh, you've set your keyboard in such a way that uh, you have the left, the right for, for your worship song. Okay, you want, when the keyboard comes up, that is the setting. So what do you do? See this button memory? You just press it and you press one of the eight buttons over here and it will save all the settings into that particular point. Now there's this freeze button. This button allows you to, to like uh, exempt particular settings on the keyboard so that they don't, they are not affected by these buttons like when you've set that setting over here let's put it here say so it says select the desired item to be registered from the list then press one of the eight buttons okay so you see now button one has something and it has all the settings currently on the keyboard button two through eight have nothing so this freeze button is when you get get into the settings and you like exempt, like if it's the style. For example, you've set this tempo at uh, 70. And another memory uh, has a tempo of 60, another a different tempo. And you don't want the tempo to change any time, every time you press a different memory uh, with the different settings. You can exempt the, 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 <clears throat> the tempo or any other settings uh, according to your desire. So this, that's basically it. And then, you have to save it actually. So you'll press button J and then press this button over here underneath that one. It will go to menu one and you'll press save. Oh, okay, there's something that's carrying on here. I'm recording um, uh, underneath and it's not allowing me to do that. But uh, let me stop that recording and show you how to save that. <clears throat> So click here now, uh, let me take you back, button J. Button J is for registration eh? memory. So you'll say save, and then it will allow you to write, to type the name. To select the letters, you'll, you can press delete and hold so that it clears everything. We can just say this, mem let's save this as memory one. So this is M, then E is here, so you press twice. M again, then O is right there, so three times. Then R is here, then Y is here. Then for spacing, we'll press this button over here and then wait for it and then one. So, and then we hit okay, then it saves. Now it's saving under user. This means it's saving in this keyboard. And if you want to take it away uh, so that you use it in a different keyboard, uh, let's say you are traveling and uh, you don't want to carry your keyboard and there's a keyboard where you're going. So you'll just carry the settings. You'll press the tab button, the one on the right, and then you'll hit save. 
and then it will save it there. Okay? Now, let's switch off the keyboard and uh, uh, you'll see whether everything will come on the way it is. Eh? <clears throat> okay, it takes a while to boot. Now, remember you can save different memories. Here you can save a, a slow tempo or a song, a mid-tempo song, a quite fast tempo, and with different voicings, uh, voice uh, settings, Yamaha calls uh, the sounds you hear voices. Different voices, different uh, keyboard settings, all the settings, different split point set settings, and, and whatever you, 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 you like on the keyboard. See, it's there. Now, when you, you play, it will play. Uh, I cannot play now because you won't hear. I've stopped the recording. But that's basically it. Now, you can also uh, go and rename. You can edit that memory and rename. Uh, uh, because only one has. You can Let me save it all over. Now, I, I pressed the memory and I held and then I pressed. So, it's actually the same thing all over. I can edit assuming that it's different things over here, different settings, I can edit still that memory one uh, and, uh, and save the different names. See, here I can say one, uh, see it's moving, one, maybe that's worship setting, two, that's praise settings, three, that is, so that I know what's there. I can just go under edit and I see what's in that setting according to what I've named. So basically that's it, uh, uh, and all the best in your music making. Bye.